all the light is so aggressive. I look very white. I look very white. I think it's because of the snow outside. But anyways, so how I usually start my day is I drink a big cup of water and this nice Starbucks cup, even though it's closed because we're in quarantine. But I usually drink one big thing of water and then I like to get things done first thing in the morning before I have breakfast. Um, which I do have breakfast now for those of you who don't know. And if you want a video on why I stopped intermittent fasting, if you want to see it, just comment below, let me know. Make sure to like the video so I know that's what you want to see. But I normally just start with my water and then I'll get some work done on my computer. And right now, who else has picked up a new hobby with quarantine? I started a sourdough starter. So I'll be dealing with my sourdough in the mornings. And then I like to get the dishes done so I have those done and the space clean before I'm going to start breakfast. My sister is running the water for what feels like forever, so if you hear that in the background, that's her. But I'm going to get the dishes done and then my sourdough fed and I'll kind of take you guys along with my sourdough in case you're interested. start making breakfast by now but I'm not really that hungry um, and I want to get more work done before I get anything else going for my day like I want to get some some hard editing and things done I just made some bone broth in my instant pot a few days ago and I'll be sipping on a cup of warm bone broth because it's snowing in Iowa right now in April I'm a little upsetty spaghetti okay that lasted a solid um, like 0.2 seconds so now I'm gonna have breakfast <laughs> Okay, so I finished my caramel coffee and my breakfast wrap burrito thing, and I'm going to do some more editing and eat this. It is 9.51, later than I normally eat breakfast, but I was getting work done and drinking my bone broth. So now to get more work done. So it has been like an hour or so since I've eaten. It's like 11.15 or so now. So I'm going to get my workout in. With coronavirus, I know it is really hard for people to stay motivated, stay, stay focused, want to do home workouts. I personally don't like home workouts. Uh, I'm very blessed and very lucky that I actually do have an exercise room, hence why it's echoing in my house. So I am very fortunate to have this, but I do prefer personally to lift weights and I just don't have a lot of weights in my house. We have a lot of cardio stuff, but I'm not really a cardio bunny, so I'm doing some, but more resistance bands and the heaviest dumbbell I have is a 10 pound dumbbell where I have two kettlebells, a 20 pound and a 30 pound. So that's what I'm doing for my exercise. And I'll kind of take you guys through what I'm doing for my exercise right now. It changes day to day obviously because I like to do different exercises, but this is how I'm getting in my workout and getting it done. So let's get started with a warm up. <laughs> Yay, 10 minute cardio. cardio warm-up on the elliptical and the reason I'm using the elliptical is because I have a knee injury and the elliptical is a lot more gentle on your knees it's gentler on the joints so I recommend if you have a knee injury to use the elliptical not the treadmill the flat is gonna hurt it so now I'm gonna get into my weights exercises I'm not doing a whole lot of leg lower body exercises just because of my knees so I'll be sticking more to upper but a few lower body movements that are gentle here and there start I am doing three sets with 10 reps per side of single leg RDLs making sure to keep my hips parallel with the ground so my hip that's going back isn't lifting out. And then the next exercise is going to be half Turkish get up so you're really going to drive through your leg to have that opposite hand touch your toes for three sets of 14 total reps. These are resistance band rows so really make sure that you are 
pulling those shoulders back and pinching the blades. Every time you go back, you're gonna do three sets of 12 reps. Now I'm doing resistance band overhead press, three sets of 12, making sure every time I go up to squeeze my shoulder blades to my ears to really get the full move. Now I'm doing front raises, so you're gonna do three sets of those, 10, 12, 14, a progressive overload, drop the weight as you go up if you need to, but make sure you're not using momentum and solely muscle. Then I moved into flies, four sets of 12, making sure you're going out all the way and squeezing those shoulder blades back. Now I'm just doing hyper extensions. You can use a chair for this if it works better for you, but just set up a yoga mat on top. Now I'm doing three sets of 14 total reps for kettlebell row. Then I just moved into three sets of 10 close arm push-ups. Okay, so that is my workout today. It was kind of, it was about 50 minutes to an hour just because I was going slow with things because I need to be extra careful with my knee that I don't make the injury worse. But quick note off, if you want a video in Spanish like my workout and what I'm eating in a day, please comment that below so that I know and that I can make it for you guys. I was a Spanish exchange student, so I know some Spanish. Si podéis poner abajo que quieres saber, me voy a grabar un video diferente. Si quieres mi ejercicio o mi comida, me dices y me voy a grabar un diferente video. Pero necesitas decir que quieres. Okay, so it is now 2.20 and I've decided that I'm hungry. So I'm going to make lunch. I think I'm going to do a Cobb salad and I'm going to have to use turkey bacon because that's all I have in my fridge right now. I bought it for some recipe, but that's all I have. So I'm going to use turkey bacon and make a Cobb salad because it's fast and it's light and easy. And I usually like to do salads for lunch, not because of a detox or anything like that, but just because I love salads. So I'm going to make those salads and then go back to working because I've been working for the past like three hours after my workout. Okay, so I'm going to eat this and get some more work done. And dinner was BLTs on some low carb bread that I picked up at Aldi's with turkey, mayo, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and I added avocado. My dessert bowl was pretty random. I did some killer creamery ice cream with PB2, half a Birch Benders cookie from my last video, and then some peanut butter and azevia. Okay, so it has come to the end of the night. You guys saw my dinner and then my dessert bowl thing that I made. I made that with PB2, Killer Peanut Butter, the Salted Calomel, it was a limited edition flavor from Killer Creamery, and a Birch Benders cookie cup type thing that I had left over from the video I filmed where I was trying all of the Birch Benders products. So I will link that in the description below if you wanna see what I thought about the cookie brownie pancake and muffin that will all be in the video linked below for you guys to see. But I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating and with me through today's quarantine activities. Make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell notifications so that you guys can see more of these videos. Let me know what you wanna see. Do you guys really like seeing these kind of what I'm eating in a day type videos and I'll make more of those? Or if you wanna see more product reviews, just comment that. I like to make content that you guys like and if you wanna see more workout videos, I can also do that. Just let me know what you wanna see because I do make my content around the things that I think you guys wanna watch and that you're commenting that you want to see so I will try to put that out for you. So now I'm just going to head to bed with my little avocado up there you can see is my piggy bank but I'm going to get some sleep and then start doing more work and quarantine activities editing this video tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>